What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is the Memphis League Cup Top Four, and unfortunately, if you missed, if you watched the last round, we had this really epic game against Just Aaron, and unfortunately, we would not make cut. It will be the fifth seed, unfortunately, but. In this match, we have two players we have not showcased at all during these uh, games, and that is Kenton Anderson on your left and uh, Michael on your right. Michael, I can't remember Michael's last name. Oh my goodness, Michael, I am so sorry. I don't know why. Mm. But both players are from Memphis. Actually, all top four was a Memphis Gus. That's pretty exciting. And we don't know what, I mean, if you read the title, we know what both players are playing. It is an Espion Garboder. Uh, deck versus a Decidui Vileplume deck, and I'm excited to see this matchup. How does this play out? You know, people say that Garboder can easily take down Decidui. You got the Garbotoxin, uh, Decidui plays a bunch of trainer cards, and you kind of just win that way. Like, it's so powerful with Decidui, but we're going to find out today if that happens. So we see Michael finding an Eevee and two Trubbish on his opening turn, and we see that Kenton Anderson is going first, and with these Decidui Volpum decks, it all comes down to how does your turn one go. If he finds a turn one trainer lock, he puts himself in a fantastic position. Now he does have a floatstone. He can grab that, put it on the Oddish. I uh, did not find a forest of giant plants. If he did, it looks like he has a love ball and ultra ball in hand. He can pretty much have a crazy turn one. Alright, so he's actually not gonna get anything. We'll see a love ball, gonna look through his deck, gonna grab a Rallet, okay. We're going to see an end. Both players are going to shuffle up against six new cards. Now, I kind of, I guess Kenton decided not to grab the Floatstone. I think I would have just to grab one less card out of her deck. But as Michael sh shuffling, you see a set of Voodoo in there, which could be really bad for Kenton if he does not get set on turn one. He's got a Top of Coco in there. He's got a Drampa GX. So it looks like it's an Espeon a Drampa kind of base deck. Um... Yeah, I see a Top of Coco again. Uh, maybe he plays two Top of Cocos. But here we go. Can Kent find the Forest, Gloom, Vileplume, Dartrax, Decidueye, a bunch of stuff, which might sound crazy, but it is very doable. And right now his hand is uh, pretty bad. Yep, that is a uh, three in, a Top of Lily, Forest, and a, and a Field Blower. That is not something you want to see when you're playing Decidueye. <laughs> Because now he will not get that turn one volume. So to Michael's turn, you see Ken eating right now. Ken, he is hungry right now. He is a grown boy in this world. But Michael, going to draw a card. And let's see what he finds here. There's a Drampa GX coming down. Okay. Uh, which means Ken has to be careful with his Feather Arrows. And needs to place his own just Drampa. Because if he Feather Arrows like a Trubbish or anybody else, then it will activate that Berserk. So we see a Tapu Layla coming down. And let's see what Michael gets with this. Maybe a Sycamore, maybe an In, um, maybe a Hex. Uh, tell me when Hex can be really bad for Kenton. Or maybe a, like a Hex right now can be really bad because Kenton can't use like his Tapu Lele, which I saw on his hand. He can't use Shaman, all that kind of good stuff. But we see Sycamore coming down. Michael needs to get set up here. He needs to find like a Psychic Energy, maybe with an Eevee uh, to use the Energy Evolution, get an Espeon out, start using Confusion or Psybeam. I just, I can never remember what it does. I mean, the attack names. I know it does 30, and your opponent's active is auto confused. So he's a Sycamore, discard an N. Uh, I think a, I think some, I don't know, you're sure what else. I think he discarded a Flareon. Was that a Flareon he just discarded? I'm, I'm not sure. If you're kidding, you discard he discard a Flareon, then you're really happy because you don't have to worry that much about it anymore. Unless Michael can play like a Super Rod or a Buddy Buddy Res not a Buddy Buddy Rescue, a Rescue Structure later on. But there's the Espeon coming down. It would not knock out the Rallet. It only does 30. Okay. So we see the Espeon come down. We also let's see what else he decides to do this turn. And nope, just gonna use that confusion. Uh, I forget what it's attack's called. Uh, and no, just thirty auto confuse. So the trainer, a trainer spell, and a force of giant plants come down from Kent immediately. Uh, Kent will find a love ball, which can grab a Dartrex, and which will un will unconfuse him. It does. It's Psybeam, if you didn't know. Uh, Espeon's GX first attack is Psybeam, and has two hundred HP. But was he a love ball? I'm gonna grab a Dartrex for the bench, okay. We see an end. Both players are gonna shuffle against six new cards. Maybe Ken's like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna let this uh, active Dartrex get knocked out. And Ken is playing a back to back end, which is, once again, something you don't wanna do with the Sigil of You need to get the term of Alpum, go crazy, set up. But I mean, this format has slowed down, especially in this game. Um, it's not too relevant to get a turn one uh, Valplume. It's still, like, really good, for sure. But we see a Decidueye coming down. 
We see a trainer's mill. Look at top four cards of his deck. Does he find an ultra ball? And there's an ultra ball. He can play that to maybe grab a shaman. Uh, we see a shaman staring in there as well. I mean, I don't know if his hand's playable to grab a shaman right now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see an ultra ball. Okay. And let's see what he decides to discard with this ultra ball. Uh, Lysander and a sycamore. And this might grab a shaman. Yep, going to shaman for three right now. Unless he has more. Ow. <laughs> hit the wall unless he has more cards to play out of his hand to draw up to six okay so let's see does he have more pokemon nope shaman oh i think it's actually four two three four five and six let's see what does he find i uh, see a dc going to the active decision why okay he's got a float stone to the oddish and we see another shaman for three does he find a dark strikes oh no I don't see a Dartrix in hand. I see a Decidueye. I see some other stuff. Now, what does Kenton do here? We might see Feather Arrow and... I mean... Yeah, I'm going to put another Drampa, which I think is a great play uh, for sure. <clears throat> but we're going to see another pass from Kenton, unfortunately. I don't know, Michael Stern. Let's see, can he find a DCE? There's a Choice Band going to the active, which means he does 30 more damage to EX and GX Pokemon. There's a Choice Band going down to Trubbish. A Rescue Stretcher. To grab the Garbotoxin Garboder. I'm uh, gonna put the one without the choice, uh, with, with the nut, with no tools being attached. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball, discarded two cards from his hand, okay. Uh, discarded a Trubbish and a Lysander, I'm pretty sure what that's what it was. But Kenton also does play the Field Blower in his deck. We saw it earlier when he was like before he end. So a Field Blower can get rid of the tool off the Garboder, but then it comes down to does Michael have a Hax Maniac to shut that down off a turn to put a new tool card on that Garbotoxin. A lot of weird mechanics happening in this game right now. And we see a second wire. He's going to discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. And let's see what does he find. I mean, if, I think if you're Michael here, if you find an energy, you just put it on the Drampa and just threatening a Berserk, which I think is like scary, the scariest thing for a Decidueye deck. Because how do you deal with Berserk? Well, I think Kitten's like figured out, like, hey, I'm just put, I'm going to start putting damage on that Drampa and uh, try to handle the Berserk that way. So see where does Michael put the Psych Energy. Going to put on the Drampa, which I do agree with. But Ken, you can see, already put 20 damage on it. He's ready to take down the Drampa later on. So we see that Michael will knock out the uh, Rala. And we see it and again from Ken. A third in, back to back to back in. Oh my goodness from Ken. All right, does Ken finally find a Valplume? Does he find another Sidgewite? Does he find a Grass Energy? These are all questions we want to know. So Ken is going to find uh, six new cards, okay? He's got a double revitalizer. There's a glue coming down, okay? An Onish. Uh, I don't think he has really anything in his discard pile to grab a revitalizer with. So Ultra Ball, discarding a Forest and an Onish, okay? Will he grab another Shaman? Yeah, we'll see another Shaman EX coming down. He can revitalizer for an for a Rowlet? I don't think there's a Dartrix in there. But he can at least set up more with Shame, which I think is what you kind of want to do here. So, we'll see. Uh, revitalize. Oh, Shaman first. Nope, go to Shaman 4. Does he find everything he needs? Does he find a Vile Plume, a Dartrex, a uh, Decidueye? He's going to look through his Discard Pile. Maybe he decided not to play the Revitalizer because he puts two Pokemon in his hand instead of the one. And I don't see anything really. He does have a Sycamore in hand. And I don't think he's played a, a supporter card just yet, so he'll finally be able to play a Sycamore to grab more Pokemon or grab more cards. Uh, let's see what he gets here. So there's an Oddish and a, a Rallet coming down. There's no way he's bitching that Rallet. I mean, the Oddish is definitely just going to get discarded. And uh, yeah, let's see what Ken does here with his hand. He's got a Rallet he could put down and play a Sycamore. I mean, I think you kind of have to do that. I think he needs a dig to find another Decidueye. And a vile plume. Yes, that Espeon can conf can confuse you next turn, but I think there's your only real option right now. Uh, so see a Rallet coming down. We'll see a Love Ball for a Dartrex. Okay. Now for it to guard board to take a knockout here, you need um you need eleven in the discard. Will be two twenty. Uh, so yeah, ten. You need he needs eleven in the discard uh, for him to take a knockout of the choice man. And nope, just gonna pass. I don't even think can't even use feather arrow. He yeah, can't even feather arrow anywhere. Kind of like whatever, pass, knock out my gloom, please and thank you. I think that's what Kent just did there. All right, so we see end. Both players are gonna shuffle up. Kent's probably saying thank you because you notice he didn't really do anything with the hand. He, yeah, 
The thing was, he didn't even feather arrow that turn. That I, yeah, I don't even see any tw damage from the feather arrow. I see the first feather arrow into the Drampa, and that's gonna be it. But we'll see both players gonna set up fine six new cards, and uh, yeah, this is a it's a very interesting game right now. We see a DC going to the active. We can see a psychic. I mean, yes, yeah, psychic. It only does sixty, so it's not gonna knock out the gloom because um, he has no energy attached to it right now. And we might see a divide at GX, but 10 damage counters on the field. All right, we'll knock out the Gloom, and they'll have 20 leftover damage. But no, just going to use a Psychic right now. Just hold on to the divide GXs right now. So Kitten has a Dartrex. He's got a Decidueye. He's got a Vile Plume. Uh, so we see a Decidueye coming down. Okay, so you can double Feather Arrow this turn. He's got a Floatstone, which he can put on the... Uh, all right, so we see double, <laughs> double into that jump. Immediately, he's like, I'm not forgetting this turn. And I, doubt, I think you put a Flowstone on that Decidueye with the DCE, and that way you can retreat if he does go for the, the Fusion next turn. So no, go put a Flowstone on the one that doesn't have a DCE, and does Kent play a Sycamore or put down the Vileplume first? Nope, go put down Vileplume, and he's going to Sycamore, discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. Now he could have, oh he has five bench, so he really can't put down a Pokemon number what. So let's see what Kent does here, does he go for a Sky Return? He's got a Grass Energy, so he can't go for a Raise Leaf for 90? Um, yeah, that's a play he can do for sure. But then, what do you do afterwards? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put a grass energy on the Decidueye. We'll see retreat and we'll see a rage leaf for the 90 damage. Now, what Kid could do potentially is license the guard motor, get stuck in the active if Michael cannot find a um. Uh, energies to retreat it. That could be a big problem for him as well. So let's see what Michael does here. He still has that Avide GX. He can put 10 damage counters on the field, knock out the Vile Plume, but uh, the Kitten just knocks you back out pretty easily. Um, yeah, so we're going to see Kitten count his discard pile. Does he have enough for Guard Board to take a knockout? I don't think so. I mean, it, it'd be pretty crazy to see like all those in there. It would not be impossible. Do not get me wrong. He could one shot this Disses right for sure. I think it's, well, I thought Ken was going to put a dice out for the side for us to see, but he only has a three out there, and that's, it's way more, way more than three. So he's just like an energy on the uh, guard butter, and we'll see a, actually a confusion, or a side beam for 60, making where we can't attack this turn. But I want to Ken's turn, let's see what happens. He's going to, he has a double feather arrow, and he has a DC in hand, so he can maybe go for like a sky turn um, attack or something. So see a grass new being attached to the other uh, dark trucks. I mean the decidueye. And what Kitten could maybe do is retreat to the vile plume and just pass. Maybe license the guard boater, get stuck in the active. Uh, so see a uh, double feather arrow to the active. No, that's feather arrow number one. Okay. And let's see where does the second feather arrow go from Kenton? Where does it go? Gonna put twenty on that guard boater. Okay. And does Kenton go for a flip here? Oh boy. Or does he just retreat into somebody? Hmm. Let's see. What does Kent decide to do? He's going to count his discard pile one more time. I mean, if he flips tails, then that Garbord can take a knockout. Um, That's for sure. Yeah, Garbord will take a knockout, 100%. But let's see what... Okay, so Kent's definitely going to retreat. Okay, so he's going to discard that uh, DCE. Go to the other uh, Decidueye, and we might see a Hollow Hunt here. To get three cards, I have a discard pile back into his hand. And yeah, we're gonna see a hollow hunt here. Gonna put three cards back in his deck. So we see a revitalizer, uh, love ball, and an eldritch ball. <laughs> now, what this does is it actually makes where Michael does less damage with that like, Garboder, and Kenton can then retreat back into the Zidjuai and take a knockout. So that's a really interesting play by Kenton saying, hey, you know what? I know your deck is based around like Trash Lanch. But I'm just going to put item cards back in my deck, and you can't do anything about it. And uh, that's a really funny play by Kitten. But actually, in all seriousness, that's a really good play by Kitten. So we see a DC being attached to the Drampa. We might see another Confusion. We might see a Psychic here for 90, uh, which is not bad either. I think like putting that pressure on the Zidjuai, uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea for sure. But no, going to play that Divide GX. I'm going to put 10 damage counters on the field. Um... And three on the active situation. So he will take a knockout. But Kenton just put a, a revitalizer in his hand. So he's got 
some revitalizers. He can play any item cards he wants to. We see a DC going to the active, okay? Tramp only does 180, so that's not a knockout. Only bring up to 210. Kent does have double feather arrow. Uh, I'll bring that guard boater up to 60 if he goes that way. It'll bring the tramp up to 100, okay? All right, so he's gonna put 100 damage on that trampa. He's got some revitalizer in hand, so he can get back. A, 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 man, if only he had a bench spot to open. He, but unfortunately, he has three shamans, so he can't go for another bench spot. He does have a Lysander. He can maybe a Lysander that Garp Odor. Mm, maybe the top of Lele if he wants to go that route. I uh, know you definitely just knock out the Espeon. Like, you just take a knock on the Espeon. You just get another Valve Point with your revitalizer and, like, be good to go. I think that's what you do here. I think your revitalizer, get back. Your Valpum line. He's got a Lysander. He's definitely thinking about the Lysander right now. He's definitely contemplating Lysander. I see you keep bringing it to the top. But we'll see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What does Kent do here? He's actually just going to raise leaf for the knockout. Alright, so he's not going to pop him down. He's just going to go like, whatever. I'm just going to knock you out and just win this game. Uh, it is 4-4 four to four on price cards. Okay. Um, but... We'll see. Can Ken brains down? Kid's gonna count his discard pile. Uh, I don't think there's enough to knock out a decision there, but maybe not even a shaman. Is there six in there? I don't know. I don't. I didn't see his discard pile exactly. I didn't count. But we see an ultra pile from Michael going to start two cards from his hand. All right. Uh, going to discard a psychic energy and an Eevee. Very interesting. All right. So let's see. His other cards in his hand must be somewhat decent because he did it. He 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 was like, all right, this this psychic energy, I really don't need it, so I'm just going to discard it, which is very interesting. But we see that he's going to grab a Tapu Lele. Um, I'm not sure what the Tapu Lele gets him, unless he's going for an end play. But then you put both players down to four, and I don't know how strong that is, uh, realistic, realistically. All right, so let's see. He's going to look through his, his hand one more time. But maybe he just needs a dig for something. Or maybe he'll go for a Lysander, bring up a Shaman, and uh, put the pressure on Kent for sure. I think that's a fine play here. Like, put it on top of Lele, grab a Shaman, Berserk a Shaman for knockout, going down to two, and then he can use Trash Lance to knock out the last Shaman X. So no, go to grab a Trubbish instead. I don't know if there's a Lysander in his deck, but I think that would have been a fantastic play. Like, Lysander, bring up the Shaman, Berserk for the knockout. And then all he can do is Trash Lance to the Shaman for the game. Alright, so we see a, a Trubbish in the field. We see a Psych Energy on the new Trubbish. And a Sycamore discard in his hand, drawing seven new cards. Now he's not taking a knockout. He will be able to Berserk, uh, which would do 150, bringing that Decidueye up to 180. But the Kinta can knock out the uh, the Drampa pretty easily. Uh, it already has 100 damage on it, so he can like Feather or he can just like Feather a Bench Trubbish, maybe? Um, does he retreat? Maybe he retreats the Drampa. Hmm. That'd be interesting, because he sent up the Drampa to start with. Alright, does he retreat or does he berserk? Right now that Garboda is not going to take a knockout. I'm 100% sure it's not going to take a knockout. Yeah. So yeah, go to send in the Trubbish. I mean the Garboda. No, he's going to send the top of Lele. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, going to see the yeah. You definitely need to attack this turn. You can't just like pass with the top of the lane the active. That's not very good. And we're gonna see a trash lance. I don't know how much it does. Akin's at thirty damage right now. Uh, all right, so six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, so it is one seventy. So he does one forty. So Kent has uh seven items in the discard pile currently. All right, so let's see what Kent does here. He's got a feather to the active, feather to the bench. Okay. We'll see an Ultra Ball discarding a Tapu Lele. <clears throat> and a Force of Giant Plants, okay. He has four on the, three on the bench. There's another Decidueye. Does Kent get another, uh, another Decidueye out? That'd be pretty crazy to see. Because what Kent could do <laughs> is get another Decidueye out, retreat, and, uh, just take another turn. So we see a Revitalizer, gonna get a, a Dartrex and a Rallet into his hand, gonna put that down, put down the Sigewide, he has another feather he can put down, uh, bringing that Drampa up to 140, which means he can knock it out next turn, so he can swing with the Sigewide of the active, uh, taking a knockout, okay, uh, we see a Grass to the, the Sigewide, okay, 
And let's see what Ken does here. All right, so Ken coming up with a great blaze here. I mean, Michael's had this Garbrunner Garbatoxin he could turn on any moment if he had a tool card, but he just hasn't found a tool card at all yet. So let's see a knockout. Ken will go down to three. And let's see what Michael does here. Does he have a Garboder? Uh, there's a Taco Lele coming up. Okay. I mean, if he has a DC, he'll take a knockout for sure. Does 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And that for sure knocks out Decidueye. Okay. So uh, let's see what Michael does here. What does he find with this? Uh, I'm going to do some, some number count real quick and see, you know, what can I do with my hand? Does he have a Garboder, a Psych Energy? That is the big mystery. If he has those two, he could... Oh. He needs a DC for the active. Yep, there's a DC going to the active, okay. And we'll see it in. So Kento go down to three while Michael gets four. Uh, Michael will then take a knockout on that Decidueye, and then all Michael needs to find is a life center and a guard order to take the game. But Kent can double feather the bench Drampa for the knockout. Hit a Lysander and a DC to knock out the Bench Trubbish if he does not evolve it. So we see Ken get a Lysander, but does Michael find a Garbodor to put down on the field? He, I think he has an Ultra Ball in hand, but does is he out of Garbodors? And no, I don't know if he is not, but he's not going to play the Ultra Ball. Ken's going to send the Dark Tricks, and let's see what Ken does here. So he's going to take a knockout, going down to one, and there's DC going to put that down. Lysander the Trubbish, and he'll take the game. Taking a three prize turn, setting that slow but sure knockout on that Trampa GX with all that feather arrow damage. And there we go. Uh, Ken proving, you know what? You really don't need Valplume. I'm just going to get Decidueyes, make it where you don't do any damage, and I'm going to take game number one. Now, unlike Swiss, uh, these these top cut rounds are best two out of three. So we're going to see both players shuffle up, and you got to think, you know, whoever lost wants to go second. I mean, wants to go first. No. I mean, whoever lost gets to choose they want to go first, second. Of course, they're going to choose to go first. They're, you never want to choose to go second, especially now in this format. You need to get set up. You need to get a bunch of Pokemon on your field. There's no need to go for the turn uh, turn one or turn two. You just turn two knockout. You just need to get set up. So you always want to go first no matter what. But here we go, guys. We go to game number two, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, Ken apparently took that game. That was a pretty crazy game number one. Now, these players did play each other in Swiss. Michael did beat Ken, so now they're 1-1 right now in the grand scheme of things, I guess. Uh, but here we go, guys. On a game number two, and let's see what happens. We see an, an EV start for Michael, and Ken started double Oddish, unfortunately. Oh, my goodness. So we see Psychic Energy immediately come down to the EV. Going to use the energy evolution and find an Espeon GX. Now, Michael does have those really nice golden um, psychic energies, which I'm very jealous of. But can Kent to find a turn one bow plume? Um, the answer is you really don't want to. You want to set up multiple decision and stuff like that. So you need to just hold on a second. Don't go too crazy. And uh, we're going to see a pass on the Kitten's turn. All right, so Michael really not doing too much. And we see Ken immediately playing an Ultra Ball. Discarding double decidualize. Oh man, that's not good. I think I see a shaman vile plume and a revitalizer in hand. And if that's the case, you grab a rallet. Oh, there's a taco lele coming down. Uh shaman vile plume and revitalizer. Does he taco lele for an N? To get a new hand of six? Or does he go for a rallet? I mean, Michael didn't play anything, but that doesn't mean anything. Michael could have a really good hand and like a sitting on a DC or something. Um, that could be 100%. Okay, no, gonna grab a Sycamore instead. Gonna discard his hand. Discarding a Revitalizer. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I like this play at all, Kenton. All right, so gonna discard double. This is why. And we'll see a Shaman first. All right, so there we go. He kind of bluffed us. There's a Love Ball. Man, does he find a forest of giant plants? I saw multiple grass Pokemon in hand, and we know he has a revitalizer. So let's see what he decides to do here. Oh man, this could be really bad if Ken has like uh does he have a forest? I see a vile plume in hand. I see another shaman. Oh no, he only has room for one decidueye now. Oh man, there's I think there's two more deciduous in his hand. And we'll see passing on Michael's turn. This is terrible news for Ken. All right, so Trevor's coming out. If Michael has a DCE, he can go for the Divide here, take double knockouts on Oddish, and put 20 more damage on that Rallet. I think that's definitely what you do here. You Divide. You can put 10 damage counters on the field any way you like. You put, uh, I think, uh, maybe maybe Oddish doesn't have 40 HP. I think it has 40 HP. Maybe it's 60. 
All right, no, he's just gonna go for a psychic here to knock out the uh, knock out the Oddish. So you're gonna knock out the Oddish, Kindle put down a gloom, send in the shaman for the turn, okay? And did we just see another pass from Kenton? I think it's what. Yep, we saw another pass from Kenton. This is not going good for Kenton. Uh, we have a we have a wild Espeon on the loose right now. All right, so we'll see a Eevee coming down from Michael. And uh, floats onto the Trubbish. Man, if Michael finds a Garbodor or Garbodor Toxin, it's almost pretty much game for Kenton. All right, but best two out of three in uh, top cut is 50 minutes. So we see a Psychic for 60. All right. Uh, we see Trainers of Kenton going to look at top cards of his deck. Going to find a Forest of Giant Plants. Okay. Does he have a Dartrex, Decidueye? Well, we know, he has revital we know he has a Revitalizer, so he can get back to Decidueye's. But, man, um, he's got a Bob Man, he's got a Revitalizer. It just doesn't have a good hand at all. So, we see Revitalizer going to put two Grass Pokemon back in his hand. Uh, going to put a Gloom, an Oddish, and a Dart, a, a Decidueye. We'll see the Oddish coming out. Uh, no, Oddish and Decidueye, sorry. The so Oddish coming down. And looks like we might see another pass from Kenton. This is not going good for Kenton. I don't know how many times I can say this, but this is going terrible. All right, so we see an Espeon GX come down, a Psychic Energy on it. And we're going to see uh, Divide GX to do, I guess, knock out both the uh, Oddish and the Shaman. I don't know how much HP Oddish has on top of man. I should know this since I've played it so much, but man. Michael is down to two cards. We see a Dartrex, a Decidueye. We see a Vileplume. And we see a second one, but it is probably... Oh, he discards two, two Decidueyes. It's so bad. Uh, you gotta think Ken can't really do anything about this. He has... I mean, Michael has two prize cards left. There's really not much Ken can do here. Yeah, Ken can go for a Hollow Hunt to get back three cards in his hand to his... Uh, from his discard pile to his hand. But, I mean, what does that really do? I don't think it does anything. Like, Kent doesn't even have anything to hollow hunt for, really, like, realistically speaking. And yeah, if you're Kent here, you might just think about scooping, going to game number three, and I hope we get that turn one Vile Bloom. That's what we really need to see. And uh, we're going to see, Kent's still trying, though. He's, he's trying to figure out, how do we do this? Going to put 20 in the active and just pass on to Michael's turn. Um, we see a Garbodor, Garbodor Tox come down. We see a Lysander, Brain of the Shaman, and we'll see 90 da uh, 60 damage coming down. On a Ken's turn, he does have a Grass Energy to treat. Uh, Garber Toxin is in play, so Ken can use his item cards. Uh, the Garber Toxin did shut down the Irritating Pollen, but Trainer's Mobile well can't can nothing. Oh my goodness, oh man. It is not looking good for Ken. His Irritating Pollen's cut shut down, his uh, Feather is shut down. We see a DC be attached to the active, and we see a second more discard in his hand, drawn seven new cards. Does he find a field blower to get rid of that tool off the Garboder? And there's a Dartrex to situate I mean, to sit a Rallet, uh, Dartrex coming down. And we'll most likely see a Sky turn for 30. But, I mean, it only does 30. There's really no way. Can oh, there's another Decidueye coming down. That's pretty good, right? Uh, Skin has two Decidueyes now after I had to discard any three. So that's good. But, oh man, I mean. So yeah, we'll see a Sky Return for. Th I mean, actually, Sky Return might not work here if he flips tails. He will hurt himself, and then Kent will lose the game. That is a hundred percent the truth. That is the truth. Um, what is Kent do here? They are gonna treat the Decidueye. We might see a. We we'll probably see a Hollow Hunt here. There's no way you don't Hollow Hunt. Uh, we see a Field Blower. Get her get the tools off the active Espeon and the Flowstone off the Garboder. And we see a Hollow Hunt. All right. Does Ken have a Lysan discard pile? All right, so it's a Lysan or DC. And what's the other card going to be? A Revitalizer? Sure. Nope. I think you got Sycamore here. Um, all right, but nope, he has a Lysan anyway. And he's like, oh, I got the win no matter what. So he's going to Lysan or Shaman. I mean, Ken could have made a comeback. He could, like, Lysan of the uh, Garboder. Maybe I got it stuck in the act spot for a little while, but man, Michael has plenty of energies left. That that Garbodor wasn't going to stay up there long enough for Kenton to win the game, unfortunately. But yeah, that's going to be game number two. It is best two out of three at Kenton. We'll have the option to go first or second. And of course, he's playing to Sidgwai. He wants to go first. Why would he not want to go first? We need to see a turn one Vile Plume. Come on, Vile Plume. We need you to come out ASAP. And so Kenton get that turn one irritated ball, which will pretty much 
shut down Michael in the uh, beginning of, like, almost the whole game, unless Michael does play hacks and can do the hacks plus floodstone combo at the same time. Now, if he does not put the floodstone on it, but still puts a choice pin on it, yeah, that'll shut down Ken's abilities, but uh, that is a heavy light center target for sure. But here we go, both players are setting up, putting out six cards, and Michael, nope, Michael did find a Pokemon. I thought he mulliganed for a second because he didn't put anything down, but nope, finds two Pokemon. And we'll see what happens in game number three, guys. All right, so we see uh, Michael start with Top of Coco and a sh uh, an Eevee. And let's see, what does Kent have here? We see a trainer's mail. Look at top four cards of his deck. Okay, I'm going to think about what he wants to do here. I do see, okay, Sigmar going to saying, I thought I saw an Ult Ball and a Dark Strike. So Ult Ball, discarding a Foul Plume. I see a Dark, I see a, uh, okay, Grass Energy. He does have a Decidueye in there. Um, going to discard a DCE. All right. And uh, you might be thinking, why did he discard the DCE? Well, with the grass energy, he's able to grab a hollow hunt. Uh, he's able to use hollow hunt with the DCE. You can't. And he grabs a Dartrex here, which means he has the force of giant plants in hand. There's no way you grab a Dartrex with the Sycamore and Decidueye in your hand uh, without the other card being in a forest. So, force that, 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 and a Sycamore. That was a pretty impressive uh, opening hand for Kitten. So, seven new cards coming down. Let's see what does Ken find here. Uh, he's got a Trainer's Mill. He's got a Love Ball. Um, okay, so, I think you definitely Love Ball first to grab, like, an Oddish. Uh, okay, no, gonna grab a Rallet? Okay, no, gonna grab, I think I'm fine with this Oddish play for sure. Now, Michael still, still can do the Dread of Turn 1, Energy on Eevee, uh, Energy Evolution for an, <laughs> an Espeon to go for that uh, Side Beam Turn 1 again. Uh, which is always terrible if you're playing a Decidueye because you're confusing a Pokemon that needs three energies to attack. So we see Trainer's Mill like a tough cards of his deck. Gonna find an Ultra Ball, and with this Ultra Ball, we might see a Oddish come down. I think I see an... Oh, there's a Gloom. Okay. I see a... A Tapu Lele, a Decidueye, Ultra Ball, DCE in his hand, and what he could do is Ultra Ball discard the Decidueye and... The second one, I think that's what it is. Uh, Lysander, okay. Uh, to grab, he could grab a Shaman just straight up, which is not a bad idea at all. Um, you like kind of put the pressure on Michael. You lock him out of abilities for, I mean, you lock him out of your ability, or not abilities, your trainer cards. But with the Shaman, you can draw more cards trying to find like a Rallet, a, a Dire Trek, a Decidueye. Um, you get set up a little bit more. So I can see like both ways being a positive. Ken already has a, um, yeah, gonna go ahead and put a Bobloom. Because he already has a top of Lele, he can just play a Sword Guard next turn. And he can put, I think he actually put a Feather on that active top of Coco, okay. Alright, uh, so gonna, yeah, gonna look to just compile one more time, and, uh, yeah, gonna put that Bobloom, and we'll see a pass on the Michael's turn. So Michael does, he have a Psychic Energy. If he finds a Psychic Energy, he'll be able to use an Energy Evolution. Which is really bad for Kenta because it confuses him, and he won't be able to attack without a coin flip. All right, so let's see what does what does Michael do here? He's got a Sycamore. Going to discard his hand, drawing seven cards. He's a Hacks Maniac, Choice Band, Tapu Lele, and I want to say those are Garbodor, Garbo Toxin, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I didn't really get a good look at it. But does Michael find a Psychic Energy, go for the Energy Evolution uh, to get the SP on a play? And we'll see a DC go into the active, and we'll see a Flying Flip, unfortunately, doing 20 to both Pokemon. So Kenton will find a DC to the Decidueye. Does he have another Lysander in his deck? He's already played one, or he discarded one. He has a Tapu Lele. And let's see here. Gonna put 20 on the Eevee, okay. Yeah, I think if he would have put 20 on the Eevee last turn, uh, Kenton could have won this turn if he found, like, another Decidueye. Uh, he's going to grab an N. His other card in his hand must be really good if he wants to grab an N. Maybe a Sycamore? Oh, he's debating. Yep, going to grab a Sycamore. I don't know what the card in his hand is. Um, I guess we'll find out here in a second, right? Now, okay, so we'll see. Sycamore, going to discard his hand, draw on seven cards. Oh, Ken couldn't have won anyway this turn if you put the 20 damage on the bench EV. So we'll see a Rallet coming down. Okay. He's got some Shame in his hand. Shaman doesn't really do anything right now. Uh, so we're mostly just going to see a Feather. We could see a Hollow Hunt if Ken's feeling pretty frisky right now. Let's see what he goes with. Does he go for a Hollow Hunt or does he go for a. Uh, no, go for the knockout, going out of five prize cards. Alright, so on Michael's turn, going to send the Eevee. Does he find a Psychic Energy to evolve? 
Maybe another Pokemon. We see a... Oh, hold on. Let's see. He found, looks like he found another Pokemon. But I don't think he has another energy in hand. And, oh, man. Or an energy in hand. He hasn't seen a single one besides that DCE, which is... Oh, man. That's not good at all. Uh, we see a subtle move coming out. Put a Ken's field down to four with the roadblock. Okay. Um... Let's see, so he's going to put a DC deactive, and we're going to see Tails, I forget, a quick draw, or whatever attack it does, I can't remember. But if Ken can find uh, Dartrex here, a Decidueye and Dartrex, he can actually win the game right now. Because uh, he can double Feather out to the active, and just like Razor Leaf for the knockout. But no, just going to Razor Leaf, knock out the Eevee, and make our Michael cannot retreat this turn. Because um, that settlement is active, but does Michael find anything? And, uh, he's got a card in his hand, so he must have something to survive one more turn, at least. Or maybe another turn. It could be another Pokemon. And he might have multiple turns left. And just a Trubbish coming down. All right. So, I, uh, Dark Trubbish coming down for Kenton. We'll see uh, another uh, 20 damage Trubbish uh, knock out the Sudowoodo. <laughs> All right, Ken and Michael find another Pokemon. We see another Trubbish coming down. Pass on the Ken's turn. Uh, we see 20 to the bench Trubbish. A Razor Leaf for the knockout. Does Michael find another Pokemon? And nope, just a pass on a Ken's turn. And there's the Razor Leaf for the knockout. Unfortunately, Michael was not able to find a Psych Energy. And that was some crazy luck. Let's see if we can see his hand. Uh, Ultra Ball, Floatstone, Shh. Uh, stretcher, DCE, Versiger, and man, there, there was some stuff in his hand, but it's not paying out. But guys, Ken will move on to the finals with his Decidueye by album deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.